Hi everybody, I have decided to make another video because I have noticed that many students and teachers are watching my previous videos. I guess it's for studying in advance or recalling certain topics. So here I am with another recorded lecture for media and information literacy. I'm Mary Lee and I'm a licensed professional teacher and I record lectures with less than no editing for a natural feel. Today, we're going to learn the current and future trends in media and information. So what are the recent changes? Is there any development in communication and technology? And should we anticipate more changes and development in the future? I'd like to apologize for the background noises and I hope you don't mind. So first, let us define the word trend. I encourage you to read with me. So trend is a general development or change in a situation or in the way that people are behaving. So as you can see here in the picture, these are celebrities who are trending at some point. Heart Evangelista for her fashion, Korean actor Park Soo Joon as an actor Mimia as YouTube influencer. That being said, trend can be about certain style in fashion, entertainment, or whatsoever that is gaining popularity at a certain point of time. Usually, people follow anything that is trending. The psychology behind it is that people tend to follow the crowd. It is called the bandwagon effect, where people act in a certain way because others are doing the same. So to set an example, as the first and second quarter of the year, or as of the first quart quarter and second quarter of the year 2022, the people are going crazy with TikTok. Many people are using it. I'm sure you also do. TikTok is a social media platform for creating, sharing, and discovering short videos. The app is used by young people like you as an outlet to express themselves through singing, dancing, comedy, and lip syncing and allows users to create videos and share them across a community. Now, this is just a quick introduction to give you a little context about what is trending or the, the trend because 10 years ago there was no TikTok at all and this is considered a change and development. Now let us get down to the current and future trends in media and information. Are you familiar with these trends? Let's explore them one by one. We have massive open online content, wearable technology, 3D environment, and ubiquitous learning. Let's start first with Massive Open Online Content or Massive Open Online Course or MOOC. So these are the online courses that are available for anyone to enroll. It provides an affordable and flexible way to learn new skills, advance your career, and deliver quality educational experiences at scale. Say for example, I want to learn about how to create content for my YouTube channel. So I would likely choose this one video for content creators so this is a course an mooc so this is um usually the interface of an mooc you can see the title a short description of the course and a video with information about the course there are also other details such as the estimated time frame take a look at it it's um estimated three weeks two to three hours per week and then it is self-paced and the cost to enroll is 199 US dollars. If we convert it to peso, it's almost 10,000 pesos. But there are also other web-based courses that are open to the public for free. So if you have access to the internet and if you have the time, then you're good to go. So that's an example of MOOC. And this is very different compared to traditional learning because there is no classroom setting. Nasa bahay ka lang. No face-to-face -face interaction with teacher or classmates. And the lessons are already embedded in the web page, including the assessment or quizzes. And here are some of the best MOOC platforms. The one that I showed you a while ago is from edX. So, Coursera or Coursera. I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but it's also popular here in the Philippines. And you can check out the other platforms if you like. That's it for the open online or massive open online content. Next will be the wearable technology. Wearable technology refers to mobile electronic devices that are comfortably worn on 
the user's body or attach to their clothes. These devices are often called wearables for short. So what are the examples of wearables? So let's have a quick guessing game. If you can guess the pictures that I'm going to show you. What do you think is this? You have five seconds to guess. This is smartwatch, yes. So most smartwatches rely on a smartphone to function. So it allows you to see the notifications from your phone to your smartwatch. Now how about this one? The answer is Google Glass. So this is a voice and motion controlled Android device that resembles a pair of eyeglasses and displays information directly in the user's field of vision. So other examples of wearables are fitness trackers. We also have smart jewelry and smart clothing. And also we have head mounted displays. So this is general category of wearables covering several segments such as a virtual reality and augmented reality glasses. So that's it for the wearable technology. There are also other examples of wearable technology I suggest to, uh, for you to search it online. Okay, so we will end the part one of this recorded lecture here. And for part two, we will be continuing with 3D environment and ubiquitous learning. And the video will be uploaded next week or earlier. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get notified, click the subscribe button. and I will appreciate it very much. This is Media and Information Literacy for Senior High School.